Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to do a heatless twisted rope braid style. So let's go ahead and get started. So first you just wanna brush your hair, make sure it's nice and tangled free. And then I like to part my hair down the middle for this hairstyle. And then I'm just gonna tie the other section out of the way. And you do want your hair to be somewhat damp for this hairstyle. So I'm just using a leave-in conditioner to make my hair wet. So you wanna start at the top of your head, divide your hair into two equal sections. Take the front section, cross it over the back section. Then with this hairstyle, you just want to grab a section from the back and incorporate it into that back section and then grab a section from the front and incorporate it into that front section. Then do the same thing, cross the front section over the back section. So again, add in a section of hair to the back section, add in a section of hair to the front section, cross the front section over the back section and make sure it's nice and tight. Mine's a little loose here. So again, adding in hair to the back section, adding in hair to the front section, crossing the front section over the back section, adding in hair to the back, adding in hair to the front, cross the front over the back and just keep repeating until you run out of hair. With this hairstyle, I like to start the rope braid right at the bottom of my ear. So I'm just going to make sure all of my hair is added in before I reach the bottom of my ear. So once my hair is all added in, now it's time for the rope braid. So here's a little trick. To do a rope braid, you just want to kind of spin your finger in circles like this because that's the motion we're going to do for a rope braid. So we're going to spin our hair around our finger, twisting it away from our face. So I'm doing this with the back section, but we also need to do it with the front section. So just twist it around your finger away from your face. Then you're going to take the back section and you're just going to cross it over the top of that front section. So now your hands are holding the opposite sections. And then you just keep repeating that all the way down. So you're just going to twist your hair away from your face around both fingers. And then you're going to take that back section, cross it over that front section. It does take a minute to figure out how to do a rope braid, but once you do it and you get the hang of it, it is super easy. So now we're just going to keep repeating all the way down, twisting away from our face, crossing the back section over the front section and twisting away from our face, crossing the back section over the front section. Once you start getting really good at it, it takes literally less than a minute to do this type of braid. So just do that all the way down. So now I'm just tying my hair off with a clear elastic and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So you can see how cute and wearable this hairstyle is. Uh, it's not like a typical heatless hairstyle. You can actually wear this out and about. And then you just repeat the same thing on the other side. And here's what both of them look like. So I ended up wearing this hairstyle the rest of the evening and then I slept in it as well. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like the next day. It is the next day, so we are going to go ahead and take these out and see what our curls look like. This is my favorite part of heatless curls. So just a little tip, if your hair tends to not hold heatless curls or they fall out very easily, you can always try putting in a mousse instead of using like a leave-in conditioner or just water like I did. Oh yeah. Now let's do this side. Very cute. So I'm just gonna kind of shake it out. This side is a little damp still, not much, just like a little bit. So I do not like my hair parted down the middle, just personal preference. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of a side part. Let me know, do you guys like my hair parted down the middle or side part? So you can see with the heatless hairstyles that you kind of have more of like a wave from where you twisted it. And then down at the bottom where we did the rope braid, it's a little bit different of a curl. And I really like the way it looks. So you can wear it as a super cute hairstyle or you have these beautiful heatless curls the next day. So that is the video, you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah! Bye.